Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for February 5th through February 11th. I want to thank you for your patience and for all of you that didn't ask for the reading, just waited. I really, really, really appreciate that. Now I'm going to get a couple of oracle cards. This is intended to be a love reading, so if you're happy in love, this reading is probably not for you. Typically these tarot readings are for people that are struggling. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. <clears throat> what do we have for Aquarius? Ooh, growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So it's a week of growth, perhaps. deserve love. You are lovable. Now we are going to break right into this tarot deck for Aquarius. There may be some family feuds going on. There could be some feuding somewhere in your life. That's for sure. There could be some, th some kind of dream that is falling apart. Somebody's not putting in effort. It's like, I don't even want to do this anymore. Somebody could be feeling like they're ready to quit and, and release something that doesn't serve them. It's like, this is too much for me. I don't want this responsibility anymore. So it really feels like there's been some sort of... Uh, conscious change I'm I, I, I'm ready to quit I can't do this anymore and because of that you are really removing obstacles you you you've been thinking about it thinking about it thinking about thinking about removing something about leaving a situation I'm ready I'm ready to quit I'm ready to quit here because I deserve love many of you um, are going through a period of of real growth where you're you're feeling starting to feel more stable within secure within um uh, practical you know disciplined it just feels like i have to do the right thing i have to, it's time for me to to do, take the practical approach if this is if i can't be in this spot where there's where there's too many feuds of some sort and there could be an unexpected choice in love, okay? You could have a choice or you could have somebody that comes into your life unexpectedly. This person is not your usual type. This person, um, there's, there could be a new partnership, okay? But I do see that there's going to be some kind of choice that you are going to have to make, all right? Maybe between two people. You could have to make a choice between two people because right now you're feeling like you deserve more. So, you know, there could be either you or the partner that you're with. It has to make a choice between two people. I feel like there is a third party situation here for somebody that's watching this and you're ready to quit. You're like, I don't, I don't want to play this game anymore. Okay. Or you could be with somebody right now. You could have somebody on your mind. And then all of a sudden somebody comes into your life and the sparks are there. And you're like, oh boy, now I really need to make a choice. And you need to take the practical approach. And that's what you're doing. You're trying to be practical here. Um, yeah, so what I what I see is that it is, there's some kind of observation going on. And you don't know what to do. You could be dealing with two people and you're just trying to observe both situations right now okay all right i'm going to sit back and i'm going to i'm really going to contemplate which one is the most practical which one is the most stable which one is the most secure um but right now there's a lack of passion in one of these arenas in one way there's no passion one one of your choices there's no passion there's no excitement okay 
and now you're being called to wake up and, and really see the light. It's like release something, but you haven't quite done it yet. This is no second chances. This is the judgment card. It's like you definitely need to make a choice, I think, between two people. I mean, if you look at this, I think there's a new contract, a new person that has come into your life, and now you have to probably let go of somebody else, whether it's emotionally or even physically. You know, you have to you have to let go of somebody because there's no passion left. There's no more growth with that person. Now, I feel like somebody has cheated, whether it's you or the other person. I feel like somebody has cheated, and now you're just trying to do the right practical thing. You're trying to be responsible. You're trying to look for you're looking for stability and security. You're not looking for somebody who is fly by the seat of their pants and and not in it forever okay I feel like there's there's like there's no more growth in one of these directions and you know it but the thing is is your mind is still on this or in that direction but you know that it's time to go and so I see that there's consequences here and there's big consequences here. I think you have a choice between two people. What do I do? Where do I go? How do I, how do I handle this? And many of you are just ready to quit one of them because you know there's no more growth. You know there's no more fertility. You know there's no more passion. And so you're still thinking about it. I'm thinking, 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 thinking. What am I going to do? How am I going to handle this? There's a lot of thinking going on here. A lot of mentally restless energy because you know that this is a very uh, big decision. Okay, so I think it's there's a decision here, and it's really you know what it's really really all about. It's about that you deserve love. You are lovable. You deserve true love. You deserve true love, where the passion never dies, and there's a passion that has died somewhere, and I think it's because of another person. Okay, whether the other person is in the other person's life or they're in your life, there's another person that has kind of like squashed some some family dreams. Okay. And now it's time for you to celebrate this as a success, but you're not. Right now I think you're still thinking, you're still down. You're still you may be feeling jealous. You may be feeling jealousy of because of what has happened. And, and now you're, it's, it's really time for you to realize that this was a lesson, okay? It really was. And it's time to complete a phase, but you're still thinking about it. You're still thinking about what your next move is going to be. What's, what, what am I going to do next? I know that I need to make a move, but I'm really not sure what I need to do. There is a lesson that needs to be learned here. And it's time for you to start a new journey, but you're, you are... You're still thinking about it. You're still thinking about it. You have this fear of starting this new journey. That's the fool right next to the world, okay? This is a big deal. This is the first card in the deck. This is the last card in the deck. You are being divinely guided, okay, to do something, to make a change, to, to start a new phase, to start a new chapter, but you're not doing it. But you are being divinely guided to do that and to not offer somebody a second chance, Okay, these are all divinely guided with these three major arcana cards right here. This is divine guidance telling you it's time to start a new phase. It's time to start a new chapter. It's time to complete one cycle, have faith, step into the unknown, and do not offer somebody a second chance that was uh, kind of like a player here. This person was very um, horny, and you know whether it's you or the other person, and it just didn't work out. I feel like you have an unexpected choice in love that is here for you and now you have to make this really complex decision and live with the consequences of your decision just like this person is going to have to live with the consequences of theirs. Now you could be dealing with any sign and that's why I'm not saying the signs because these this you know it really doesn't matter what the sign is. <laughs> now we have the Wheel of Fortune reverse right next to the World card reverse. You're not letting destiny happen. Destiny, this is destiny, okay? You, this is divinely guided. It's time again, a new chapter. These are both new chapters that need to start. They need to, but because you're still thinking about it, you're still thinking, 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 taking all the time you need, which is like okay to do. But I tell you right now. Divine guidance, divine guidance, divine guidance, divine guidance. The last four cards, okay, that I just dealt. Major arcanas, 
okay? This is telling me that you are being divinely guided to complete a phase in your life and to start a new one with faith and trust. Because wherever you've been, it's over. It's time for that completion. This is the Ten of Swords. It's over. It's like it's the, it's, it's the end, okay? You've been through some sort of crisis, some kind of difficulty, where you may have felt completely stabbed in the back, and now it's time to take the swords out, realize that that was rock bottom, and let this new chapter begin. Okay, it's time for you to really step over the finish line and start your new journey. This is your new journey. It's time, but you're, you're resisting because of insecurities and instabilities. But you really have to realize that your future is bright instead of concentrating on the past. As long as you stay in this predicament where you're not moving forward, you're concentrating on the loss, you're concentrating on the swords, you're concentrating on the pain. As long as you do that, your ships aren't going to come in. Okay, you have the ability for your ships to come in, but they aren't coming in. I think there's been a third party situation here that has caused you to feel very, very unstable and insecure within yourself. And one of the biggest lessons here is to stand up for yourself. Really? Okay, that's your lesson here. And to have faith and trust in the future. This is faith and trust, but it's reversed. It's not having faith and trust in the future because this is the future. They are mirroring each other. It's like your instabilities or your own power struggles are holding you back from this new chapter that is literally right in front of you. It's because you do deserve love. You do. This is deserving give and take. Okay, you deserve to be loved, right? You give it. Don't you deserve what you give? <clears throat> yes, you do. There, it, there could be a new partner. For you. But you have to realize that they're in the future. You have to end a cycle first. Okay? Because these are ending cycles. You have to have faith and trust that this two of cups is in the future. Because this is the future. But this right here is reversed. And I think that you've been hurt perhaps over a third party situation. And now you're still thinking, 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 what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Should I try to should I try to build up where I've been hurt or should I move on? And if you tell if you wanna get my advice with all these major arcanas right here, it's time to move on. And you're not until you do, your ships are not gonna come in. But they aren't. Because you're being called to learn this lesson, this divine lesson. There is divine guidance here. Okay? And you're ready almost. I feel like many of you are very much ready to quit. You're ready to quit. But these inner power struggles are holding you back. Not knowing what the future holds. Not having faith that you're, that you're going to get the love that you deserve. Okay? But you are going to get the love that you deserve. Because I see that it's here. But it's in the future. But if you, you keep on hanging on to wherever you've been stabbed, whoever stabbed you, then, you know, you're still stuck there. Be prepared to live with the consequences of that decision. The consequences is that lover's card underneath. That is the choice that you need to make. If you choose to stay stuck wherever this, whoever, with, with whoever stabbed you in the back, then that's where you'll be. If you choose to end that contract and start a new one, then you have an opportunity for love. True love. But that's in the future. But you have to get through these power struggles that you've been going through. And you need to complete this cycle that you're in right now. And many of you are just thinking about it instead of taking action. But you're really close to it. Because I see that many of you are like, I think I'm ready to quit. But anyway, growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. This loss that you've been through, this crisis, has brought you true growth. Chalk it up to that. You deserve love. You are lovable. You deserve love. After heartache. This is reverse. This is true growth. It is. 
true growth, the pain and suffering that you have went through that has made your heart bleed has brought you true growth. And that's what this card means. It's time to start the healing process. Eventually these swords will slip out. It's reversed. They'll slip right out and you will heal. But you have to take action. Anyhow, it's time. You deserve love. You are lovable. Whatever has happened has brought you the growth that you needed. And I feel like there is somebody in your future that is more suited. If you are with somebody now and you're just going through troubles, I feel like you're ready to quit. Because there's no more passion there. And it doesn't appear that there's any future. If you're happy in love, this reading is not for you. Okay? It's not. This reading is for somebody. Not every single person. Please use your common sense in interpreting this reading. For many of you, it's time for you to start a new phase. And you know it. With that world card next to that Wheel of Fortune card and this judgment card, no second chances, some of you know that it's time to move on. And you're being called to do that. I feel there's been an unexpected choice in love either for you or the person that you were with. For many of you, it's for you in the future. There's a new love coming into your life. If you're single and you're still holding on to somebody mentally, this is saying, let him go. Let him go. If you're single, you know, and you are still hanging on, uh, you know, in your heart and soul, let the person go so this new unexpected love can come in. There's unexpected love here. And there's definitely been a third party situation. Talk to you later.